Hi guys, it's Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and welcome to my channel. If you like thrifting, DIYs, repurposing, you've come to the right place and we'd love to have you follow along. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great content. And today I have a really fun video. Um, I like to wear an apron when I'm crafting because I'm a mess. I always get paint and glue and everything all over. And my last apron was getting pretty yucky looking. So I went on Amazon and I bought a plain black apron and I'm gonna put a cute little quote on the front with a fun technique using saran wrap. So I'm gonna show you today how you can make one for yourself. Um, now the graphic that I've made for this apron is available in my Etsy store. I'll put a link below in the description. So if you wanna try making one of these yourself, you can go over to my Etsy store, grab the um, graphic and make one. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> And this is all you're gonna need for this project. A pair of scissors, some cling wrap, and your printed graphic. I printed this graphic off on just regular computer paper on my laser jet printer. It would also work with an inkjet printer. And I'm just gonna cut out the graphic as tight as I can to that floral template because whatever is not cut off will show when you iron it on. So you just want it to be really nice and tidy and straight along the edges. And I just love this graphic. It kind of suits me to a T. When I'm in my craft room, I seem to have my stresses all just melt away. Not really, but it helps. Now you're gonna tear off a piece of the cling wrap so it goes around the front and the back of the whole piece of paper. And this is where you have to be really careful. When you're folding the saran wrap onto the piece of paper, you want to have it nice and tight. You don't want a lot of saran, you don't want any saran wrap hanging off the edges because when you iron it onto your apron, it will show. So you want it nice and tight along all of the edges of the graphic. I like folding the saran wrap into the back of the paper. And now I'm gonna fold the ends in, and it doesn't matter if it overlaps, it's all gonna fuse onto the apron when you iron it on. So you just wanna make sure that it's laying nice and flat. I also found that this technique works much better on a cotton fabric or a cotton blend. So when you're buying an apron, or you can even do this on a t-shirt, just make sure that you buy a cotton blend material. Now this is just a fun project. It does adhere to the cotton, material but it is not durable so i wouldn't be throwing it into the washing machine thinking that it's going to stay on perfectly because it probably won't if you want to use this graphic and have it be durable that you can wash it then i would go to michael's or to staples and get the actual iron-on transfer paper i'm just going to be crafting in this and getting paint and glitter and glue on it so i won't be throwing it in the washing machine all the time and there you have the graphic paper all wrapped in the saran wrap. And now I'm just gonna iron my apron so it's nice and flat. Now I'm gonna place my graphic right in the center of the apron, make sure that it's even with my ruler so I don't have it crooked or off to one side. Measure it carefully and then you're ready to iron it on. Now I'm gonna take a piece of parchment paper and carefully lay it on top of that graphic, make sure it doesn't slip or move. Get all the air bubbles out of it, lay it nice and flat, and then we're ready to iron it on. I have my iron set at six and no steam. And you just want to just very slowly 
just kind of move your iron back and forth over the piece of paper and let all of that saran wrap or cling wrap completely melt into the paper and the fabric. And just take your time and make sure that it's all, get all the corners and that everything is melting properly. And it takes a few minutes to get it all bonded in. I'm gonna check the corners and make sure they're adhered. It's really hot, so just be careful and make sure they're all adhered down. And then I'm just gonna take the iron and go over it once more. Now, me being a thrifter, I would have much rather have been able to pick up an apron at the secondhand store, but we actually are in the middle of a lockdown right now and none of our stores are even open. So I had to resort to buying an apron through Amazon. Now it's bonded really well. It's really hot, but I think it's pretty much ready to go. And all the corners look like they've stuck down really well. And there you have the cutest little crafting apron. I won't wreck any more of my clothes or get paint or glue on them. I think it's just adorable. Grab yourself an apron guys and make these. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to use this graphic, I'll put the link above to my Etsy store or down in the description. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and have a great day.